So here we have an Element Electronics ELCHW261. Here's the common problem with this TV. All white screen. And if you've been connected to an antenna or a cable box, you can hear that the sound is fine, but the screen is white. So what's causing this problem? Most of the forums will tell you that you need a new main digital board to solve this problem. That's really not what you need. So I'm going to show you how I got to the bottom of this problem so that anyone facing it can do the same. Now as odd as this seems, the first thing we need to do is to actually put this TV next to a heat source. So the outside temperature is 80 degrees. It's pretty hot out here in direct sunlight. We're going to leave the TV here and have some lunch and then we'll see if it works or not. Okay, it's been about an hour. We'll see how hot this thing got. 103 degrees. That should be enough. We'll take it in and see if it works. Okay, we're back inside now. Let's turn it on, see what happens. Wow, look at that, it works. So what's the point of all this? Well, let's look at the back. So we're looking at the back again. We use the sun to prove that this TV has a thermal problem. The next step, and, and anyone facing the white screen on this model or some other model might want to try the same the same thing. Put it out in the sun, bring it back in, see if it'll work. So we're in indoors now, it's probably 75 or so in here. Big difference from 104. So the next step would be to uh, let it set, let it come back to room temperature. An hour or so from now, this TV will be back to white screen. So the next thing we can do is remove these boards one at a time. We could remove the digital board, keep the digital board in here at room temperature, put just the TV back outside again and let it heat up to 104 degrees or so, bring it back, quickly reinstall the digital board, see if it works. It will work. So what does that prove? Since the digital board did not get heated, that proves it's not the digital board. You can do the same with the power supply. Take the power supply out, you know, wait an hour or so for it to go back to white screen. Take this power supply out, leave the power supply in here at room temperature, put the TV back out, let it heat up again, bring it back, Quickly reinstall the power supply, it's going to work again. What does that prove? That proves it's not the power supply. You can do the same thing with this LVDS cable. It's not the LVDS cable. It's not the power supply. It's not the digital board. What does that mean? It means we have a display problem. Now you notice that on this model, the TCON board is built into this source driver board. Whatever problem we have, it's either on this board or we have an internal problem on the LCD panel itself. So we've done our job as investigators. We know quickly what's causing this problem. Can we fix it? I don't know. So let's take a look. Well, being the stubborn person that I am, I continue to troubleshoot this TV. So I come to this corner this corner right here. And the first thing I did was touching this test point right here. Test point mark D0012. The display suddenly popped on. Then touching this screw right here. The display suddenly froze and then went white again. But just flexing this side of the board seemed to cause a problem. Now whether that's from this tab on connection. Whether that's something under the board or not, I don't know. But for the moment, I stuck in a piece of a fake credit card here. This is like an American Express thing that they, your name here, that they send you in the mail. Just to insulate this bottom of the board. And see, just pressing on it now, I just froze the screen. Look, and it's going to go white. 
question now is what can we do about it? So this cable is known as chip on film. There's an actual chip in the middle of this cable. It's glued to this board and it's also glued to the screen. So you got a glue point here, you have a glue point here, conductive glue, and there's a chip in the middle that's in the middle of this cable. The break that we're experiencing, the intermittent condition, right now I'm not causing it to come and go though, am I? Could be anywhere in that assembly. There are lots of people who, are, who leave comments saying that this can be fixed with a magnet. Well, it is magnetic. You stick a magnet here and it is magnetic. And, however, magnets aren't going to fix this. There are people who say you can fix it with a hair dryer. People that say you can fix it with, a, with clamps and a heat gun. Any persistent heat you get next to this is going to cause the whole thing to delaminate. In other words, that's how you unstick it. And it gets stuck back with a machine at 400 degrees with lots of chemicals, with special bonding tape under high magnification. I'm not aware of any video anywhere where a guy shows you an actual repair like this, where he removes this tab, buys a new one from Alibaba, sticks it on there with using his hair dryer and his heat gun, and has the TV actually work again. I, I'm not aware of any such video. I'm not aware of how anyone could possibly do it. When you look how that's done on the machine, I am not aware of any manual way. So here's what we did. <clears throat> I, I can't believe this is going to last, but it has lasted a week. I'm not sure the camera shows this, but there's a piece of clear plastic packing tape. I've applied, here. you can just see the edge here, I've applied clear plastic packing tape. Once I got this chip on film into position, I taped it down, it just comes across, you can see it here, there's packing tape there, taped it onto the screen, it's also taped up onto the board. The thing has been here sitting in the garage for a whole week. Turns on every time. At the moment, the problem <laughs> seems to be gone. I am really reluctant to put this back together because I can't imagine that this is going to last. But it has uh, last a week. So I think I'll put it back together just to see how long it'll last in actual use in the living room. But I, that's the best I've come up with. A packing tape seems to be holding. So we'll give it a shot, and I'll let you know how I make out. So the packing tape, while it may have helped, certainly not a permanent solution. And I'm not sure that really it's worth doing because now that we know where the problem is, here's how you can restore the screen. I'll just go up to this left corner. We know that the problem is right here. So generally, just squeezing here, there it is. Now, I, I know that that's not a satisfactory solution. It's the best that we're going to be able to do. So you can either live with it or complain. It is what it is and I sure hope this helps someone.